M0 FXP Radtail 880 GPS APRS model. There's some new firmware on the Radtail site, so scroll right to the bottom and download the new firmware, which is the bottom link, just here. Now it does say from models after 0300 serial number. And we're also going to download the new 1.04 CPS. Okay. And I've not even looked at this yet. So let's have a take a quick look at the file. Look at the firmware one. Upgrade. Nice easy upgrade on this radio. Just double click it. And it would open our upgrade window click more info and then run anyway we've connected the cable that you can see here and let's upgrade oh seeing the change log now right click device manager here and make sure you you've got your com number device manager and scroll down double click ports and it's com three and uh, so to get it into it says here to get it into firmware mode connect the cable turn off the radio like so and then press the top ptt and turn on and we're in firmware mode just get a black screen with a green led at the top just here uh, and then select the com which is three and then just click update and if it doesn't work the first time, just do it again until it does work. Uh, that's what I find with this, but it's working first time. We'll look at the change log. Now I have tested this on APRS and I thought it was working, but it wasn't appearing on APRS um, FI, if I remember right. Although I, it was going radio to radio and it was receiving uh, APRS pop-up windows, pack stroke packets and sending as well. So it, but the, some of the information was a bit um, not eligible, but it, I can tell it's gonna work once we've got all the right settings. And with the Radtel software, you can see that it's just rebooting. You can sort of mix and match. So you can have the CB on the top band, uh, go zero. zero. Let's go into uh, oh, someone there already. Zero two seven five five all the fives CB there and on the if we go down one I got two meters and seventy so you can sort of mix and match and the way you get it to do that is you turn it off hold down the PTT and turn it on and it will say full band mode and when it says full band mode you you can mix and match but someone's told me that the multi standby is a bit glitchy on that let's see if there's a change log in this download so we got the new firmware. We go menu, then up, go to see if we can find the information. Is it in basic settings, maybe? Select, then up one. There it is, version 1.07. So we definitely got the firmware in there. You can factory reset it if you're really worried. Still, let's see if there's a change log. Can't see a change log. There is a, a, another firmware here that I'm spotting, um, which needs password. That's 1.06a. So anyway, no, I can't see a change log. So let's just down run the CPS. Back to downloads. CPS is here. No password by the looks of it. Ah, read me. Let's quickly read that. See what's fix the issue of being unable to switch to the selected ABC and import the problem of CSV messing up. So that's that's nothing really, is it? Well, I'm sure it's important. So let's just quickly run out. Uh, more info and then run. Yes. Um, so we'll look at, move my radio over a bit. And now we'll go uh, port three, yes. And then let's do read. I don't know if there's anything on this radio. I might have to see if I can find my download for my APRS one. 
Well, let's have a quick look. I do tend to, you know, do videos factory resetting, so I end up wiping all my favourites. <laughs> have a quick look. Uh, so we'll go to channels. No, there are channels there, so that's good. Uh, let's go to the DTMF is the one I was interested in. APRS. Now I found that I couldn't get the proper because the real one is wide one dash one. You can't get that in. See the path wide one dash one. All you can get in is wide dash one. That's not that's technically not the correct one, so I don't feel like that's been changed. Uh prompt text colour. Oh it looks like you can if you change these numbers, you can change the text colour. I don't remember seeing that in the past. Image, device, config. I'm not really seeing anything new, to be honest. Key, config, channel, zones. I wonder if the zones are appearing. Because um, what? It, let me just write this to the radio. Because what it is, the zone names weren't appearing on screen let's see if they do now and then really we'll end the video I don't, i'm not seeing a massive change although the last firmware was really good because it allowed us to hear when we're using the band scope and also to mix and match the frequencies which are quite like so let's have a look reboot and let's go into zone mode Zone, mm, still not seeing the zone names there. Go to the A1. Channel mode. I can hear it clicking, the relay's clicking. Mode. Yeah, the zone names aren't showing there. But if you hold down, it, I set, sorry, well, my mistake. I set it so if you hold down one, you get on mine, you can do that, you know, you can see the band scope. And if you hold, press monitor, press the hash, you get scanning mode, no audio. Monitor mode, you can hear audio when, when there's activity. Back out. Uh, otherwise, bottom button for your HF mode. So really, nothing new. Thanks for watching. Bye.